Anna Sergeyevna Kornikova, born June 7, 1981, is a Russian-American former professional tennis player, model, and television personality. Her appearance and celebrity status made her one of the best-known tennis stars worldwide. At the peak of her fame, fans looking for images of Kornikova made her name one of the most common search strings on Google search. Despite never winning a singles title, she reached no. 8 in the world in 2000. She achieved greater success playing doubles, where she was at times the world no. 1 player. With Martina Hingis as her partner, she won Grand Slam titles in Australia in 1999 and 2002, and the WTA Championships in 1999 and 2000. They referred to themselves as the Spice Girls of Tennis. Kornikova retired from professional tennis in 2003 due to serious back and spinal problems, including a herniated disc. She lives in Miami Beach, Florida, and played in occasional exhibitions and in doubles for the street. Louis Aces of World Team Tennis before the team folded in 2011. She was a new trainer for season 12 of the television show The Biggest Loser, replacing Jillian Michaels, but did not return for season 13. In addition to her tennis and television work, Kornikova serves as a global ambassador for Population Services International's 5 and Alive program, which addresses health crises facing children under the age of 5 and then their families. Kornikova was born in Moscow, Russia on June 7, 1981. Her father, Sergei Kornikov, a former Greco-Roman wrestling champion, eventually earned a PhD and was a professor at the University of Physical Culture and Sport in Moscow. As of 2001, he was still a part-time martial arts instructor there. Her mother Alla had been a 400-meter runner. Her younger half-brother, Alan, is a youth golf world champion who was featured in the 2013 documentary film The Short Game. Sergei Kurnikov has said, We were young and we liked the clean, physical life, so Anna was in a good environment for sport from the beginning. Kornikova received her first tennis racket as a New Year gift in 1986 at the age of five. Describing her early regimen, she said, I played two times a week from age six. It was a children's program. And it was just for fun. My parents didn't know I was going to play professionally. They just wanted me to do something because I had lots of energy. It was only when I started playing well at seven that I went to a professional academy. I would go to school. And then my parents would take me to the club, and I'd spend the rest of the day there just having fun with the kids. In 1986, Kornikova became a member of the Spartak Tennis Club, coached by Larissa Preobrazhenskaya. In 1989, at the age of eight, Kornikova began appearing in junior tournaments, and by the following year, was attracting attention from tennis scouts across the world. She signed a management deal at age 10 and went to Bradenton, Florida, to train at Nick Bali Dairy Celebrated Tennis Academy. Following her arrival in the United States, she became prominent on the tennis scene. At the age of 14, she won the European Championships and the Italian Open Junior Tournament. In December 1995, she became the youngest player to win the 18 and under division of the Junior Orange Bowl Tennis Tournament. By the end of the year, Kornikova was crowned the ITF Junior World Champion U18 and Junior European Champion U18. Earlier, in September 1995, Kornikova, still only 14 years of age, debuted in the WTA Tour, when she received a wild card into the qualifications at the WTA Tournament in Moscow. The Moscow Ladies Open, and qualified before losing in the second round of the main draw to third-seeded Sabine Appelmans. She also reached her first WTA Tour doubles final in that debut appearance, partnering with 1995 Wimbledon girls champion in both singles and doubles Alexandra Olsha. She lost the title match to Meredith McGrath and Larissa sevchenko Neeland. In February to March 1996, Kornikova won two ITF titles, in Midland, Michigan, and Rockford, Illinois. Still only 14 years of age, in April 1996 she debuted at the Fed Cup for Russia, the youngest player ever to participate and win a match. In 1996, she started playing under a new coach, Ed Nagel. Her six-year association with Nagel was successful. At 15, she made her Grand Slam debut, reaching the fourth round of the 1996 US Open, losing to Steffi Groff, the eventual champion. After this tournament, Kornikova's ranking jumped from no. 144 to debut in the top 100 at no. 69. Kornikova was a member of the Russian delegation to the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta, Georgia. In 1996, she was named WTA Newcomer of the Year, and she was ranked no. 57 in the end of the season. Kornikova entered the 1997 Australian Open as world no. 
67, where she lost in the first round to World No. 12, Amanda Coetzer. At the Italian Open, Kornikova lost to Amanda Coetzer in the second round. She reached the semifinals in the doubles partnering with Elena Likovseva, before losing to the sixth seeds Mary Jo Fernandez and Patricia Terabini. At the French Open, Kornikova made it to the third round before losing to World No. 1, Martina Hingis. She also reached the third round in doubles with Likovseva. At the Wimbledon Championships, Kornikova became only the second woman in the Open era to reach the semifinals in her Wimbledon debut, the first being Chris Everett in 1972. There she lost to eventual champion Martina Hengis. At the US Open, she lost in the second round to the 11th seed Arena Spearley. Partnering with Likovseva, she reached the third round of the women's doubles event. Kornikova played her last WTA Tour event of 1997 at Porsche Tennis Grand Prix in Filderstadt, losing to Amanda Coetzer in the second round of singles, and in the first round of doubles to Lindsay Davenport and Jana Novotna partnering with Likovseva. She broke into the top 50 on 19th of May, and was ranked no. 32 in singles and no. 41 in doubles at the end of the season. In 1998, Kornikova broke into the WTA's top 20 rankings for the first time, when she was ranked no. 16. At the Australian Open, Kornikova lost in the third round to World No. 1 player Martina Hengis. She also partnered with Larissa Sevchenko Nealand in women's doubles, and they lost to eventual champions Hengis and Mirjana Lucic in the second round. Although she lost in the second round of the Paris Open to Anka Huber in singles, Kornikova reached her second doubles WTA Tour final, partnering with Larissa Sevchenko Nealand. They lost to Sabine Appelmans and Miriam Orimans. Kornikova and Sevchenko Nealand reached their second consecutive final at the Linz Open, losing to Alexandra Fusai and Natalie Tazia. At the Miami Open, Kornikova reached her first WTA Tour singles final, before losing to Venus Williams in the final. Kornikova practices her backhand for a match at the Family Circle Cup in Charleston, South Carolina. Kornikova then reached two consecutive quarterfinals, at Amelia Island and the Italian Open, losing respectively to Lindsay Davenport and Martina Hengis. At the German Open, she reached the semifinals in both singles and doubles, partnering with Larissa Sevchenko Nieland. At the French Open, Kornikova had her best result at this tournament, making it to the fourth round before losing to Jana Novotna. She also reached her first Grand Slam double semifinals, losing with Sevchenko Nieland to Lindsay Davenport and Natasha Sparova. During her quarterfinals match at the Grass Court Eastbourne Open vs. Steffi Groff, Kornikova injured her thumb which would eventually force her to withdraw from the 1998 Wimbledon Championships. However, she won that match, but then withdrew from her semifinals match against Arancha Sanchez Vicario. Kornikova returned for the Du Maurier Open and made it to the third round, before losing to Conchita Martinez. At the US Open Kornikova reached the fourth round before losing to Arancha Sanchez Vicario. Her strong year qualified her for the year-end 1998 WTA Tour Championships, but she lost to Monica Sellis in the first round. However, with Sellis, she won her first WTA doubles title, in Tokyo, beating Mary Jo Fernandez and Arancha Sanchez Vicario in the final. At the end of the season, she was ranked in 0. 10 in doubles. At the start of the 1999 season, Kornikova advanced to the fourth round in singles before losing to Mary Pierce. However, Kornikova won her first doubles Grand Slam title, partnering with Martina Hingis. The two defeated Lindsay Davenport and Natasha Sferova in the final. At the Tira Family Circle Cup, Kornikova reached her second WTA Tour final, but lost to Martina Hengis. She then defeated Jennifer Capriotti, Lindsay Davenport and Patty Schneider on her route to the Bausch and Long Championship semifinals, losing to Ruxandra Dragomir. At the French Open, Kornikova reached the fourth round before losing to eventual champion Steffi Groff. Once the grass court season commenced in England, Kornikova lost to Natalie Taziat in the semifinals in Eastbourne. At Wimbledon, Kornikova lost to Venus Williams in the fourth round. She also reached the final in mixed doubles, partnering with Jonas Bjorkman, but they lost to Leander Pays and Lisa Raymond. Kornikova again qualified for year-end WTA Tour Championships, but lost to Mary Pierce in the first round, and ended the season as world no. 12. Kornikova with doubles partner Martina Hengis while Kornikova had a successful singles season, she was even more successful in doubles. After their victory at the Australian Open, she and Martina Hengis won tournaments in Indian Wells, Rome, Eastbourne and the WTA Tour Championships, 
and reached the final of the French Open where they lost to Serena and Venus Williams. Partnering with Elena Likovseva, Kornikova also reached the final in Stanford. On November 22, 1999 she reached the World No. 1 ranking in doubles, and ended the season at this ranking. Anna Kornikova and Martina Hingis were presented with the WTA Award for Doubles Team of the Year. Kornikova opened her 2000 season winning the Gold Coast Open Doubles Tournament partnering with Julie Hillard. She then reached the single semi-finals at the Medibank International Sydney, losing to Lindsay Davenport. At the Australian Open, she reached the fourth round in singles and the semi-finals in doubles. That season, Kornikova reached eight semi-finals, seven quarter-finals and one final. On November 20, 2000 she broke into top 10 for the first time, reaching no. 8. She was also ranked no. 4 in doubles at the end of the season. Kornikova was once again, more successful in doubles. She reached the final of the US Open in mixed doubles, partnering with Max Mernie, but they lost to Jared Palmer and Arancha Sanchez Vicario. She also won six doubles titles, Gold Coast, Hamburg, Filderstadt, Zurich, Philadelphia and the Tour Championships. Her 2001 season was plagued by injuries, including a left foot stress fracture which made her withdraw from 12 tournaments, including the French Open and Wimbledon. She underwent surgery in April. She reached her second career Grand Slam quarterfinals, at the Australian Open. Kornikova then withdrew from several events due to continuing problems with her left foot and did not return until Leipzig. With Barbershit, she won the doubles title in Sydney. She then lost in the finals in Tokyo, partnering with Irota Tuliaganova, and at San Diego, partnering with Martina Hingis. Hingis and Kornikova also won the Kremlin Cup. At the end of the 2001 season, she was ranked no. 74 in singles and no. 26 in doubles. At the 2002 Medibank International Sydney Kornikova regained some success in 2002. She reached the semi-finals of Auckland, Tokyo, Acapulco, and San Diego, and the final of the China Open, losing to Anna Smashnova. This was Kornikova's last singles final. With Martina Hingis, she lost in the final at Sydney, but they won their second Grand Slam title together, the Australian Open. They also lost in the quarterfinals of the US Open. With Shanda Rubin, Kornikova played the semi-finals of Wimbledon, but they lost to Serena and Venus Williams. Partnering with Janet Lee, she won the Shanghai title. At the end of 2002 season, she was ranked no. 35 in singles and no. 11 in doubles. In 2003, Anna Kornikova achieved her first Grand Slam match victory in two years at the Australian Open. She defeated Henrietta Nagyova in the first round, and then lost to Justine Anand Harden in the second round. She withdrew from Tokyo due to a sprained back suffered at the Australian Open and did not return to tour until Miami. On 9th of April, in what would be the final WTA match of her career, Kornikova dropped out in the first round of the Family Circle Cup in Charleston, due to a left adductor strain. Her singles world ranking was 67. She reached the semifinals at the ITF tournament in Sea Island, before withdrawing from a match versus Maria Sharapova due to the adductor injury. She lost in the first round of the ITF tournament in Charlottesville. She did not compete for the rest of the season due to a continuing back injury. At the end of the 2003 season and her professional career, she was ranked no. 305 in singles and no. 176 in doubles. Kornikova's two Grand Slam doubles titles came in 1999 and 2002, both at the Australian Open in the women's doubles event with partner Martina Hengis. Kornikova proved a successful doubles player on the professional circuit, winning 16 tournament doubles titles, including two Australian Opens and being a finalist in mixed doubles at the US Open and at Wimbledon, and reaching the NO. 1 ranking in doubles in the WTA Tour rankings. Her pro career doubles record was 200-71. However, her singles career plateaued after 1999. For the most part, she managed to retain her ranking between 10 and 15, but her expected finals breakthrough failed to occur, she only reached four finals out of 130 singles tournaments. Never in a Grand Slam event, and never won one. Her singles record is 209-129. to Her final playing years were marred by a string of injuries, especially back injuries, which caused her ranking to erode gradually. As a personality Kornikova was among the most common search strings for both articles and images in her prime. Kornikova at a USO-sponsored tour at Forward Operating Base Sharna on December 15, 2009 Kornikova has not played on the WTA tour since 2003, 
but still plays exhibition matches for charitable causes. In late 2004, she participated in three events organized by Elton John and by fellow tennis players Serena Williams and Andy Roddick. In January 2005, she played in a doubles charity event for the Indian Ocean Tsunami with John McEnroe, Andy Roddick, and Chris Everett. In November 2005, she teamed up with Martina Hingis, playing against Lisa Raymond and Samantha Stoser in the WTT Finals for Charity. Kornikova is also a member of the street. Louis aces in the world team tennis, playing doubles only. In September 2008, Kornikova showed up for the 2008 Nautica Malibu Triathlon held at Zuma Beach in Malibu, California. The race raised funds for Children's Hospital Los Angeles. She won that race for Women's K-Swiss team. On September 27, 2008, Kornikova played exhibition mixed doubles matches in Charlotte, North Carolina, partnering with Tim Wilkison and Carl Novacek. Kornikova and Wilkison defeated Jimmy Arias and Shanda Rubin, and then Kornikova and Novacek defeated Rubin and Wilkison. On October 12, 2008, Anna Kornikova played one exhibition match for the annual charity event, hosted by Billie Jean King and Elton John, and raised more than $400,000 for the Elton John AIDS Foundation and Atlanta AIDS Partnership Fund. She played doubles with Andy Roddick versus Martina Navratilova and Jesse Levine, Kornikova and Roddick won. Kornikova competed alongside John McEnroe, Tracy Austin and Jim Courier at the Legendary Night, which was held on May 2, 2009, at the Turning Stone Event Center in Verona, New York. The exhibition included a mixed doubles match of McEnroe and Austin against Courier and Kornikova. In 2008, she was named a spokesperson for K-Swiss. In 2005, Kornikova stated that if she were 100% fit, she would like to come back and compete again. In June 2010, Kornikova reunited with her doubles partner Martina Hengis to participate in competitive tennis for the first time in seven years in the Invitational Ladies Doubles event at Wimbledon. On June 29, 2010 they defeated the British pair Samantha Smith and Anne Hobbs. Kornikova plays right-handed with a two-handed backhand. She is a great player at the net. She can hit forceful ground strokes and also drop shots. Her playing style fits the profile for a doubles player, and is complemented by her height. She has been compared to such doubles specialists as Pam Shriver and Peter Fleming. Kornikova was in a relationship with fellow Russian, Pavel Bure, an NHL ice hockey player. The two met in 1999, when Kornikova was still linked to Bure's former Russian teammate Sergei Fedorov. Bure and Kornikova were reported to have been engaged in 2000 after a reporter took a photo of them together in a Florida restaurant where Bure supposedly asked Kornikova to marry him. As the story made headlines in Russia, where they were both heavily followed in the media as celebrities, Bure and Kornikova both denied any engagement. Kornikova, 10 years younger than Bure, was 18 years old at the time. Fedorov claimed that he and Kornikova were married in 2001, and divorced in 2003. Kornikova's representatives deny any marriage to Fedorov. However, Fedorov's agent Pat Brisson claims that although he does not know when they got married, he knew Fedorov was married. Kornikova started dating singer Enrique Iglesias in late 2001 after she had appeared in his music video for Escape. She has consistently refused to directly confirm or deny the status of her personal relationships. In June 2008, Iglesias was quoted by the Daily Star as having married Kornikova the previous year. They reportedly split in October 2013 but reconciled. The couple have a son and daughter, Nicholas and Lucy, who are fraternal twins born on December 16, 2017. On January 30, 2020, their third child, a daughter, Mary, was born. It was reported in 2010 that Kornikova had become an American citizen. Kornikova preparing to serve in 2002 and 2000, Kornikova became the new face for Burleigh shock absorber sports bras, and appeared in the Only the Ball Should Bounce billboard campaign. Following that, she was cast by the Farrelly brothers for a minor role in the 2000 film Me, Myself and Irene starring Jim Carrey and Renee Zellweger. Photographs of her have appeared on covers of various publications, including men's magazines, such as one in the much-publicized 2004 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue, where she posed in bikinis and swimsuits, as well as in FHM and Maxim. Kornikova was named one of People's 50 Most Beautiful People in 1998 and was voted Hottest Female Athlete on ESPN.com. In 2002, she also placed first in FHM's 100 Sexiest Women in the World in US and UK editions. By contrast, ESPN-citing the degree of hype as compared to actual accomplishments as a singles player, 
ranked Kornikova 18th in its 25 biggest sports flops of the past 25 years. Kornikova was also ranked no. 1 in the ESPN Classic Series who's number 1? When the series featured sports most overrated athletes. She continued to be the most searched athlete on the internet through 2008 even though she had retired from the professional tennis circuit years earlier. After slipping from 1st to 6th among athletes in 2009, she moved back up to 3rd place among athletes in terms of surge popularity in 2010. In October 2010, Kornikova headed to NBC's The Biggest Loser where she led the contestants in a tennis workout challenge. In May 2011, it was announced that Kornikova would join The Biggest Loser as a regular celebrity trainer in Season 12. She did not return for Season 13. 1. Finalist, Semifinalist, Quarterfinalists, Rounds 4, 3, 2, 1, Round Robin Stage, Qualification Round, Did Not Qualify, Absent, Not Held. SR equals strike rate doubles, 3 mixed doubles, 2. Thanks for watching.